everyone, welcome back to the channel. And welcome to part two of the May 2021 sauna collection update. If you haven't watched part one yet, click up here and I highly recommend watching that first and then come back here and watch this. All right, so for part two, I have another table full of stuff and I'm eager to show it off. All right, so first item I have is this trifold wallet. I got it at Target and if you watched my Sonic merch adventure, which you can click up here to watch, you saw that I picked this up during that adventure. It's similar to this trifold wallet. So here's the new one and here's the old one. Uh, they're kind of similar in their design. However, this one is not glittery. This one kind of is, you can see that there. And this one also has more characters on it. It's got Eggman, Shadow, and Knuckles. This one just has Tails and Knuckles on it. I think this one has Tails also, there you go. Uh, on the inside, it's got Sonic, and I think that's it, it's red interior. This one here has the modern Sonic logo and it's blue on the inside. All right, next up, you saw me get this in my merch adventure. It's the Sonic Boom Season 1 Volume 2 series. It's the box DVD set. It does come with Knuckles and Tails as figures. So normally I would get this on Amazon or something, but I saw that the figures were actually in their proper place. And when you get something delivered by Amazon, usually the figures are tossed around and you can't even see them in the window. So I thought I might as well pick this one up and here it is. All right, next up I have a little curious item here. It is the Sonic the Hedgehog 1 for the Game Gear. It's the actual cartridge. I have Sonic 2 and I have, what do we got? Sonic Chaos, I have Sonic 2, and I finally found Sonic 1. It was in a local store here at the mall. It was a lot cheaper than usual, it was $6.99, and online I think it's around 12 bucks. So I went ahead and picked it up. And here is that picture up close. I love these classic designs. Okay, so you know it's not a merch collection update without socks. So here is another bundle of socks from Walmart. It's got Sonic, Tails, Eggman, and then Knuckles here on the back. And there's also a couple of interesting socks here. Let me pull these up for you. So this first pair, we've got Modern Sonic and it says Sonic Speed on the side. And the next pair, it's got a silhouette of Sonic right here and he's saying I'm waiting, so that's pretty cool. We've got Tails here on the next pair and it says Time to Fly, so that's cool. We've got Eggman here and at the top it says the world is mine. Here we have another silhouette that looks like maybe classic Sonic and it says Step it up. And then the final pair we have Knuckles and it says no time for games. So I like how they put a lot of these phrases on the socks. This next pair of socks is kind of plain compared to some of the other ones you're about to see. It's classic Sonic and a bunch of sprites and it's just some rings. We've got him waiting, we've got him flying, and we've got him dying. It's kind of similar to some of the patterns we've seen in the past, but it's a little different, so I had to pick it up. Now this pair of socks here I technically already have. I think it's part of the Genesis box collection. I don't know where it is. It's here somewhere. But anyway, I'm pretty sure it's one of the three pairs that's included in that box set. They just happen to be selling them separately. I think I found this in Burlington. It was like a buck ninety-nine, so that, okay, whatever. I'll add it to my sock wall. This pair of socks is probably my favorite one out of the whole bunch. It's Sonic running on probably Green Hill Zone, and it, I like how they incorporated the entire sock into the design. It's really cool. I love this pair of socks. So this pair of socks here is similar to that turquoise one. I think it's also included in that Genesis box. Uh, they were just selling it separately, so. Here you. Now these two pairs of socks here I really like. These are like the 4th of July socks. Uh, they both have the same kind of Sonic design on them. It's Sonic holding some patriotic balloons. Uh, this one however also has tails on it and he's got some kind of patriotic hat on. So here's the one with just Sonic. We've got fireworks and he's holding up some balloons and he's got a little bow tie. And this one right here we've got the same Sonic design, some fireworks. And we've got our buddy Tails, he's wearing a little hat. So again, I have been slacking on picking up my comics. Uh, I promise in the June update where there will be more comics. But I do have one comic to show off. I picked it up in my merch adventure. Uh, it is number 17 from the Archie series. Uh, I really like the really old comics from Archie. They have like this little blurb up here in the price area. It says, say goodnight Tails. And Tails says, goodnight Tails. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So we've got Sonic here standing on the biplane, Tails is flying, and this giant gold ape here has Sally in his clutches. And Tails asks, where does an 800 ton robot ape sleep, Sonic? 
And Sonic says, wherever I tell him, Two Tails. Okay, so next up, this isn't strictly a Sonic item, but it does have Sonic on it, so I, I'm counting it. Uh, this is actually a catalog from Entertainment Earth. I ordered the Funko soda can thing with the figure inside from them, so I guess they put me on their mailing list. Uh, they sent me this magazine here, and it basically is just an advertisement for all of the stuff they sell, right? I think it's a catalog for retailers, so I'm not sure why I got it. So right here you can see that they sell the Jack Specific uh, Collector's Edition figure. We've got Sonic on his Studiopolis platform. We've also got the large Classic Sonic and Classic Tails plushes by Jack Specific. And finally we have them advertising the fig pin of Sonic. It's a really cool little catalog here. And here's the front. So this is issue number 67A of summer 2021 and it actually says there's a cost of $3.95 for this so I don't know I got it for free it's addressed to me so mm. okay so this next item I'm actually pretty excited to have found uh, it's in the same store that I found the Sonic 1 cartridge for the Game Gear it's in a catalog so it's an issue of Electronic Gaming Monthly which I don't know where it's from. Is this the GameStop magazine? I'm not really sure. But uh, anyway, it's from August 2003 and it's advertising Sonic Heroes here on the front. So there you go. We've got Sonic's giant head here on the front of the magazine. I did flip through the magazine. There's just like a really tiny blurb about Sonic Heroes in it, but what's most important here is the cover. I love having magazines with Sonic on the cover. It's so cool to look at. And it was only $5.99, so it's a pretty good value. All right, so next up, uh, most people have probably seen this in different grocery stores around the country. Uh, Danimals has partnered up with Sonic in Sonic Dash, the mobile game. And they have packaging that has Sonic and the 30th anniversary logo here on the front. So here you go, we've got Danimal smoothies. Uh, we've got the 30th anniversary logo right here. And we've got Sonic right there. And then on, on the back, it has a little QR code and how you can unlock certain characters. Uh, I don't play Sonic Dash, I never have, but uh, people say it's fun. Now, there are a lot of different flavors. So what is this? This is cotton candy and strawberry. So I did buy a bunch of different flavors so that I could get uh, all of the different packaging. I didn't buy all the flavors, I probably should. But there's way, way, way too much animals in my fridge right now. So there's cotton candy and strawberry. What is this? Strawberry kiwi and strawberry. Those are the 12 packs. And then there's also six packs. This is strawberry banana and this is just strawberry. So I did open up the cotton candy and strawberry flavor. I've never actually had animals. I've heard of animals. Animals has been around forever. But I've never actually had them, I guess. I don't know, it says Danimal Smoothie. I think it's just yogurt, right? You're supposed to shake it, and then I guess drink it. I don't know. Well, let's see. We'll do a little taste test here, I guess. Okay, this is a cotton candy flavor. I think uh, you're just supposed to put one of these in like a kid's lunchbox or something. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, it's refreshing. It's not too bad. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with all these. I'll probably drink them all at some point, but yeah, there you go. All right, so next up I have this repacked version of the Team Sonic Racing RC car. I think this is the large or the medium sized version. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the medium version. It's really hard to tell because they made this like three or four different times and they put different packaging on it. I have something similar to this but it's for the Sonic and Sega All-Stars racing game and I'm pretty sure they just put the same car in the packaging and made it for Team Sonic Racing which I mean the games are fairly similar but kind of different but I don't know, the packaging's different. So I just did a quick sweep of the collection. It looks like I have this for Shadow, but I didn't have it for Sonic, so that's probably why I picked this up in the first place. A lot of times when I go and I find Sonic stuff, I have to consult the Google albums to make sure I don't already have something because I have so much stuff. So yeah, it looks like I don't have this one yet. And actually, looking at the back here, it looks like there's just Sonic and Shadow, so it looks like I finally have both of them. 
here is the car up close. We've got Sonic in his mobile and you can see a little controller back there. Okay, so moving on to the figures. Jack Specific has recently re-released some of their figures with the 30th anniversary sticker on it. Uh, and they kind of changed up the color scheme here on the front. So, I'm gonna stack these up and then I'll give you all a closer look at them. Okay, so they did five minifigures with the 30th anniversary logo. You can kind of see the sticker right there. So that's the sticker I'm looking for when I look for these items. So here we've got Shadow and Sonic. Sonic's kind of got a, a really strong whatever face going on right there. And then we've also got Knuckles and Super Sonic. Now in this set, there is also a Silver, which I have yet to locate. Now in the larger figures, there's also four. We've got Shadow and his 10 ring, and we have Knuckles with the green Chaos Emerald, or maybe that's supposed to be the Master Emerald. I hope that's not supposed to be the Master Emerald. It's pretty small. but. Regardless, we've got Knuckles and Shadow, and we have also got Sonic and his spring. I am missing Tails and the Speed Boost shoes, so I'll be on the lookout for those. And since I'm already up here, I'll show off the last booster sphere I've been missing for I don't know how many months. It's Metal Sonic, so I finally do have the entire set of booster spheres that go with that Green Hill set. Alright, with a merch haul this large, you know there's got to be watches. Okay. This month, I have seven watches. Seven. That might be a record, I haven't been keeping track, but seven is a lot of watches. All right, here's the first watch. It's a basic watch, it's a digital one. It's got modern Sonic and Green Hill Zone in the background. It's interesting because it's on a white face, so it's not really that immersive. Uh, I guess it lights up here. There you go. And then, I don't know if you can tell on the ring here, on the bezel, it actually has a compass. Well, it's not really a compass, it's more of like a... Well, it just tells you the different cardinal directions, so north, south, east, west. And yeah, that's about it. it has a basic band, no characters on it, so... Pretty basic. We have a little classic watch right here, just classic Sonic running on the background. It's a digital watch, basic band with some rings. Uh, it's kind of plasticky. It's kind of got... You can kind of see it's Sonic running there on the band. Nothing too special. This one might light up as well. Let's see. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, it does. There you go. So I actually didn't find this watch. I actually bought this one because I didn't see it anywhere. I think it's just an LED watch. So there you go. It's just got uh, Modern Sonic running in the band. It's got a square face. Pretty basic. So as you can tell from the packaging, I found this one at Walmart. For some reason, I didn't have this already. It's really just another basic digital watch. I, uh, this one, I really like the lighting on this one. This one's a lot more unique than the other ones. So this watch and the next three are fairly similar in their face. It's the same uh, touch LED that we've grown accustomed to seeing. Uh, I really like the band though. If you remember that Joanne Fabrics that had the different characters and the rings. So this is that type of design but on the watch band. So this watch is a little different as well. Instead of it being black around the face, it's blue. It has an entire silhouette of Sonic running, as opposed to just a head, as you can see here on this watch. It is a touch LED as well. And what's most strange about this watch is that, if you can see the band here, it has Knuckles' shoes, his gloves, and like, hands. It's not entire characters. We've got Sonic's shoes here. So it's not full characters, it's like parts of them, which I thought it was a little strange, it's very unique, which is why I had to pick up this watch. Now this watch might be my favorite of the last three. It's also a touch LED. It has Classic Sonic's entire head down here, and it's got like 16-bit or 32-bit versions of the classic characters. We've got Robotnik, we've got Knuckles there, uh, what else? We've got Tails, you can see part of him right there, and then we've got Sonic running down there, and you can see Knuckles again. I really like the band on this one, really nice. All right, and finally, this watch I've been trying to track down for a long time. I got it at Journey's, uh, Journey's Kids, I think, actually. So the watch itself is no big deal. I think I might already have this design, actually. I think the watch might light up, yeah. But it also comes with an actual compass. Not like that uh, kind of fake compass on the first watch, but this is an actual compass that you can wear on your wrist. Uh, I think they call it a flashing LED watch and survival strap kit. Okay, next up I have some goodies from Zen Monkey Studios. So Zen Monkey Studios is 
a company that makes, I guess, licensed art on pins and badges and things like that. So I'm gonna grab the camera and I'm gonna get you a closer look at these. So here are the pins. We'll start here at the bottom. We've got Knuckles on a green background, Sonic on the blue background, Tails on the yellow. We've got Amy on the purple. We've got the Chow on the turquoise. We've got Shadow on the silver background. And finally we have Eggman on the red background. So all seven Chaos Emerald pins with seven different characters, very nice. I love the quality, I love the shape of the emerald pins. And yeah, the overall is super, super cool. And now we also got this Sonic collectible pin. So yeah, I guess these are numbered. I'm not sure which number I have. I hadn't intended on opening it. So recently the Finesse website had a flash sale and I was able to pick up this Werehog board. It does have the yellow background. I think there's another Werehog board with a different colored background, but this will definitely do for now. I love the finesse skateboards and the art, it's really well done. And I'm super happy to have picked up the Eggman skateboard as well. I had the purple one and now I have the pink one, so I have completed the set finally. I love the art on this one as well. So the only one I'm missing now is the Sonic with the rings with the light blue background. Alright, thank you so much for joining me for part 2 of my May 2021 Sonic Collection update. It was a long update, there were a lot of items to show off, and I'm glad you stuck around for the whole thing. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. We passed 300 subscribers on the channel and I'm super excited about it. We're going to keep trying to make that push to get to 500 subscribers this year. Make sure to comment down below what item was your favorite today. I've already started getting items in for June's update, so be on the lookout for that video. And until next time, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.